now very rapidly <laughs> next break in speed coming towards the uh, town of Nuneaton or city of Nuneaton and this wind's really getting up really getting up When we were in Wigram's Turn Marina, I ordered a new horn for the front of Chugs and I fitted it there and it was advertised as a train horn. It's rubbish. It is a little bit louder than our other one, but when I've got the funds, I am definitely investing in a high decibel Claxton horn. That's what I'd like on the front. Um, something a little bit different, uh, sounds different than a car horn. Uh, this one really was advertised as a train horn, it's a car horn, but uh, I've moved it to the outside of the front of the boat, so it is a little bit louder, but we definitely, definitely need a louder one on chugs. Yeah, I'd love one. And Nicky's just lit the fire. The peaceful sound of children playing. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> it's lovely though for me, uh, on the outside, in the cold, in the wind and in the drizzle, knowing that the family are warm in the boat with the dogs all snug it's nice. It's a nice warm feeling. Morning. Just under this bridge here is Boot Wharf. I have stopped there in the past for fuel. Very friendly bunch. We're not stopping today, we're carrying on. Very windy conditions and it usually is pretty tight through here. Nice and steady. Hi there. Good. All good. <laughs> yeah.
There's another one behind me. I was shocked the first time I saw that bridge. I thought it was a conveyor bridge. And then you see bloody big Arctic uh, trucks going over it. Must be a bit hairy driving over that bridge, I think. And I think that telegraph pole must have filmed, must have been filmed by every vlogger. It's lovely that they've left it there. Of course, there used to be hundreds in days gone by alongside the canal. Look at that. And here is the very lovely Springwood Haven Marina. It's a lovely marina. We are now happy bunnies. We are moored up by the anchor at Hearts Hill. And Steve's moored up behind us. It's a cracking little place, the anchor. I don't know whether we're gonna be eating there. I don't know, but the food is excellent. And last time we stopped here, uh, we didn't let on, but this is where we uh, had a new loo fitted. Yes, uh, Derek and Pauline moored here with us. Uh, it was some time ago now, but it's a lovely little spot and yeah it was a cold cruise today not the best cruise if i'm honest but we're sheltered out of the wind here and this will do us oh, all brings another day and um, there's a lady with a hat are you teasing me about my hat i love your hat darling it's my head warm. love you too yes <laughs> nikki's been in the boat been very busy in the boat today but as i said when we left Either of us didn't feel too good, to be honest with you. We're not 100% now. We're not 100%. Not 100%, but feeling a lot better than what we did. So that's us for today. We're glad we're moored. Yeah, yeah, we've got a nice mooring. Yeah. And it's dry. You oh. just put the kiss of death on it now. Mm. It's going to... Well, it can now because we're pulled up. So. Yeah, who cares? Right. We'll catch you next time we move. Uh-huh. Say bye. Goodbye. Bye.
A very good morning to you. Saturday the 28th of September. I had a nice shower last night, lovely and warm, and got all snug with Nicky and we watched the telly and I'm feeling tip-top this morning. I felt lousy yesterday. I didn't feel very good at all. Felt sick. Just didn't feel good. There's a hair on my hat. That's it. Um, Nikki, unfortunately, she's not too bad, but she has got a sore throat this morning, so she's coming down with something. Yeah, never mind. Change of season and all that. But we're ready to move. We're good to go. Steve's behind us, and hopefully a very short cruise through Mansetta, past some llamas, and then to Atherston, the top of Atherston flight. You watch it all go wrong. Let's get going. There's the very lovely and very friendly Anchor. The Anchor in here at Hartsill. Very welcoming little canal side pub and the food's very good too. Yes, a nice moor in there for the night. Uh, really enjoyed it. Nice hot shower. The fire was lit and uh, we just sat there all nice and cosy. It was good and I do feel better for it this morning. I really do. And it's a beautiful morning too. This is gorgeous. We're just approaching the private moorings just before Hartsill services. Uh, if you remember Hartsill, it's that lovely old boatyard. Um, it's gorgeous. But we're going to get water there because we've done two loads of washing. I'm not sure if Steve is. Steve's behind us. He should be alright for water, but we're definitely going to stop. We always stop. So we're just topping up with water here at Hartsill, but look at it. Very little history though is known about this place. The old dry dock. But I would like to see it as it was. Very nice it is here. Very powerful water pressure though. The hose just jumped off when I was filming then. Uh, Steve's waiting opposite. I think Steve's going to fill up with water after us. He won't need a lot. We use a lot more water than he does. We've had uh, showers all last night and two loads of washing. So uh, yeah, we use a lot of water. So off we go. Steve decided not to get water. I don't think he really needed it. So he's carrying on to Atherston. And we'll meet in there. Yeah, it is nice. We have tried to look up some history of the place, but uh, it's very sparse, you can't really find anything out, but it is used now by the CRT, very much so. It's lovely.
after all the heavy rain we've had, you can actually see the canal is the same colour as the clay. It must have run in off the fields, I think. Blimey, we've had some rain. Just coming up on the starboard side now is Mansetta Marina. It's quite a new marina, that one. It is proving very, very popular. And the area around here, Mansetta, is said to be uh, where Boadicea or Bodica, or whatever you want to call her, had her last battle, allegedly. She might have been to Bosworth. Who knows? I don't suppose we'll ever know. <laughs> I don't think the camera will pick him up, but there is an alpaca up there. Um, yeah, you can go walking along the towpath with them here. They're obviously hiding away somewhere. This is now a retired fuel boat. Used to see it a lot around the Chester area. Narrowboat Bargus. I think now the owner sort of rents her out to other coal companies if their boats are getting restored or maintained at all. But uh, been fueled up many a time by old Bargus, and they have actually been a boarder when cruising. Only for about 20 yards. We're just coming into Atherston. Where's the sun? There it is. Um, the clouds. Can you see those clouds in front of us? I think we may have made it just in time. <laughs> what happened to him then? What? They're all having a dance, look. <laughs> Bobbity bobbit. We're moored up just before the rain. It's just started to spit a little bit, but the weathermen said 5% of chance of rain. Yeah, we were going to put the washing out, but I'm glad we haven't. Here we are by the hat factory, the old hat factory. Uh, sadly closed down, but uh, I have done a vlog on that in the past. And if you have a look, and if I remember, I'll put a link below. And you can have a look at the history of the hat factory. But uh, yeah, Atherston, home of the hatters. I'm going in for dinner now and a warm up. Nice little cruise today. And there's the ice cream.